Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rob and uh, most people know me as Lightning Collector 2021, whether that's on uh, Instagram or YouTube or whatever. Um, but I am just a guy who likes to share his collection. I'm not a professional YouTuber, as you can tell, or anything like that. Uh, I literally just like to share my opinion uh, and my collection and hope that other people enjoy it. And if you do, brilliant. And if you don't, I appreciate you uh, taking the time just to check me out. Before I get too involved with my review today, I uh, just want to make you aware, if you're not already, uh, on my Instagram, I am doing a little giveaway. So I've uh, got hold of one of these. I've put it in a nice uh, protective casing as well from a company called uh, Deflector DC. Uh, they make like foldable cases and hard cases and stuff like that. Um, I will try my best to remember to leave a link in the description if you're after one of them cases. But back to the figure, I am uh, doing a giveaway on my Instagram currently. It's running up until New Year's Day, so it'll be the 1st of January 2023. I will announce the winner. And all you've got to do is like my page, uh, like the post, and just tag a friend in the comments. So it's all easy stuff. Uh, I'll take uh, all the names and just do like a random draw um, using a number generator or something like that. So I was either gonna do a giveaway for uh, Christmas or when I hit 5,000 followers on Instagram and it's both sort of hit at the same time. So perfect time just to get that out there. So if you are interested, I will leave a link directly to the post that you'd need to have a look at and all the terms and conditions and stuff are in there uh, and how to enter. So uh, if you're interested in winning this and adding this to your collection, head on over to my Instagram and have a little look. For today's review, I have got the Morph Chun-Li Blazing Phoenix Ranger. It's from the um, Power Rangers Street Fighter crossover. So these were extra playable characters uh, for the Battle of the Grid game. So this is where the Street Fighter and Power Ranger crossover has uh, come from in the beginning. Uh, and they were just extra DLC in the game, I believe. So uh, you could use them to team up or play against uh, other Power Rangers in the game. So first of all, looking at the box, it is plastic free packaging. So it's a little bit bigger than um, most of the Lightning Collection boxes, especially for a single figure, uh, it is a little bit bigger. But we do get some uh, extra accessories and stuff in there, so I will show you them. But just looking at the front of the box, we've got our little like back hanging piece, and this comes up and takes stuff out of the box, whatever. Um, picture of our figure, 3D render of our figure, and a lightning piece tells us what we're getting. A little art of what we're not getting, um, and just the usual logos. On the side, we've got a nice bit of artwork of what we are actually getting. Uh, and then on this side, it just tells us what it is. So I suppose you could display it as a Street Fighter figure or a Power Ranger figure. Um, but either way, it looks cool. Uh, and then on the back is just another picture of... Um, similar to what we're seeing on the front, but in a different pose. So uh, that's different. And then it just tells us what we're getting. So we're getting our action figure, a stand for these effect pieces, the effect pieces, uh, and we do get, oh, the extra hands are there, okay. So we do get some extra hands on there as well. They're all posing hands, so she can't hold anything just to make you aware. Uh, and in the bottom, we've just got the information and the legal stuff um, and the barcode on there. And straight out of the box, I'll show you these accessories first because, um, I did open this, it did turn up during uh, the time where I had COVID, so it's just taken me ages to be able to get this review done and out, I'm afraid, and with the kids being home and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's just never happened, so um, apologies for that, for anybody that had been uh, keeping an eye on it, because I did say I was doing it. Um, so firstly, this is our stand. It does come with a little bend at the bottom, so you can kind of push forward your, um, your effect piece a little bit with a ball on top. Uh, and then it just slots into the little hole there, so you can have that whatever way you like. And then we've got some little foot peg holes at the bottom for your figure. We've got the fists, 
uh, which obviously I've just changed out mine already. We've got our foot effect piece. So that goes on the end of our foot like that. Uh, and then if you wanted or needed the extra support, you would snap that like that. <laughs> so I was gonna get to that, that this is very easily snappable. Um, so be very, very careful trying to put that on, which I can no longer do. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, this is another one. I suppose I could take that off and try. No, right, okay. This is our little Phoenix uh, effect piece. And our ball or Hadouken piece that comes with that too. And then here's the figure that we've got. She's posed because I'd had her on the stand like so. But looking at the figure, the um, helmet looks very nice. Painting on the helmet is good. Uh, I don't see too many, uh, if any, uh, paint apps problems that I've got with mine. So I've been lucky in that sense. Uh, downside is it's another floppy figure, as you can see. So when I have her on, holding her foot. Obviously she falls down uh, quite a lot because this is so loose. Um, the arms and stuff are stiff enough. The legs are okay. For me, it's just the uh, torso there uh, and the feet, which is just whatever. Uh, and it seems to be since they've changed factories that we, we're now getting even more problems than just like a missing head. I would rather have a missing head uh, and be able to just get the replacement head than have this issue with the figure. And of course, I now have a broken stand, so a bit of glue in will probably fix that. But luckily I wasn't using it anyway, but it's just annoying that it's now uh, unusable. Uh, these cuffs don't come off, so they are molded as part of the wrist. Her bands at the top are not, so you can take them off if you needed to. Um, you can just push them up and they do stay in place. The shield looks very nice. It's kind of got like a rose gold uh, finish in the middle there with just like the normal gold uh, around the Phoenix side. Uh, and then the same on the back, so you can see the difference in like the rose gold there and then our normal gold. Um, the shield doesn't hinder too much, so you can move it all the way up uh, and it does go around like so. And she does have double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. The figure is pinless. Uh, when I turn the head on mine, unfortunately, the whole neck turns around. So that's a little bit weird. Um, and trying to get it to line back up again is a bit of a pain. But she's looking forward, she's fine. You can kind of get away with it from that angle, but there we go. Uh, and then her little, uh, these things, whatever they are. Um, you can move them so they look like blowing in the wind or so they're down, whatever you want to do. Uh, so that's nice. The detail on the Morpho coin is not great. Uh, I can't make out at all what that is. I'm assuming that that's going to be a Phoenix, but it just doesn't look like it. I'd rather have had a stamp in there like, uh, like on the power swaps, but pattern on this is nice and it is a very flexible rubber so you can move that around as much as you like and it goes all the way up to her waist the gold finishes on this figure is nice but it doesn't all exactly match up so we've got like more of a yellow paint there a darker gold with the rose gold uh, around the boots and then another different gold on the wrist uh, and then Obviously our rose gold again in the chest in the middle, uh, which actually looks really nice, I like that. And then we've got another different sort of yellowing gold at the top there. Uh, whereas if you look at the box, all our gold's the same, no matter where it is. So it'd be nice if we could match that. 
don't think there's a whole lot of point on going through all the articulation because she has all the normal stuff. Um, they are, it is obviously a new mold because her legs are a little bit thicker than uh, what we would have seen before. Uh, and they did explain the reason for that going uh, into one of their live streams was to kind of keep the character likeness in the fact that she was very thick fired, which is fine with me. Uh, and it does look nice, it does suit the character. It suits the figure very nice. I really did want to show you a couple of different poses and stuff using these uh, lightning effect pieces, but considering how my stand is now broke, uh, I don't really want to be able to, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. But overall, other than the stand, the figure's decent. It's a shame it's a little bit loose, but that doesn't mean that you guys are going to have that problem as well. Um, the colour on it does look nice, I really like the rose gold against the normal gold, um, but as I said before it is a shame that it doesn't all match. Uh, the accessories are decent, I don't think we needed so many effect pieces, it would have been nice to have had a uh, unmorphed head that you could swap out the helmet for, so it would have been pretty cool. Obviously if you've got other Street Fighter figures you probably can do that. The Articulation on it, it's the same as what we're seeing. It's another obvious lightning collect, uh, collection uh, item. The figure itself, I do like. I think it's very high priced for what we get, which is a massive shame. Uh, I did expect these to... I didn't expect more out of these than anything else. Uh, when I bought it and I pre-ordered it, I knew what the price point was gonna be. I knew that it was potentially gonna um, sell out before it got to the point of release so um, I believe some of these have sold out on Pulse especially UK anyway so I didn't want to hang around and not be able to get them I do like the crossover figures I'm massively excited for the Cobra Kai figures um, yeah I just I, I do like this figure I'm excited to get the others uh, make a nice little display piece and I will definitely be getting those I have pre-ordered them so whenever they start making their way um, days and other than that there isn't really too much more to say but so if you enjoyed this video uh, please give us a like and uh, consider subscribing massively help the channel grow currently waiting on the next wave of figures so hopefully I'll be able to get them soon I'm potentially looking at grabbing those from Amazon hope that they'll arrive before Christmas but we'll see uh, and then obviously I'll be reviewing those don't forget my competition where I will be giving away this for free. Postage will be free. It comes with the protector on the figure. So if you want to keep it boxed, happy days. If not, use it for another figure or whatever you want to do with it. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Check out my Instagram to be able to get involved with that. Uh, and thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Um, whether you're new around here or you've been watching for a little while, massively appreciate any tiny bit of support, whether it's just a like or a review, um, I appreciate it a lot. So I hope you all have a good week. Monday's down, we're nearly at Christmas, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon, so keep hanging on in there. Keep wrapped up warm, and see you again. Cheers, bye.